So the first thing you should do is actually install DCS World version 2. And as you can see, I have DCS World, which is the 1.5 version, and DCS World 2 Open Alpha, which is the DCS 2, sitting next to each other on my D drive. And on my desktop, I have shortcuts for DCS World 1.5 and DCS World 2. So that's the first stage, obviously, is to make sure you have both versions installed. After installing them both, you should be able to go to your Windows slash users and then your username and then your saved games folder. Um, it actually has a funny icon that looks like this. It doesn't look like a, um, a normal folder icon. Once you go into that location, you should have the DCS and the DCS open alpha folders. Um, DCS2 may update to something different. But basically, that's the old DCS 1.5, and that is the DCS2. Go into the old 1.5 folder, then go into config, and then go into input, and select everything. So you can see here I've got my default folder, I've got a P51D folder, I've got a Spitfire folder, and a training P51D folder. Copy everything. Control C, copy. And then go back to the DCS Open Alpha or the DCS2 folder. Go into config, go into input, and then paste. Control V and paste it in there. So basically, you're copying these folders from config slash input from DCS 1.5 to DCS 2. And go back to DCS 1.5 saves, and you can grab any control layouts that you've saved as Lua files. Copy those if you want them, not necessary. Back to DCS 2, and paste them here as well. I've just got that one. So that's it. Install DCS 2. Navigate to your saved games folder. Copy the input folder contents and paste it in the DCS2 input folder. That's it. Should take you about 20 seconds to do that. Then you'll be ready to roll when Normandy piles in tomorrow sometime. That'll be Friday, May the 26th, 2017.